What's going on everyone? It is Andrew here from Apple Insider. The third beta of iOS 11.4 is upon us, at least for developers. There are quite a few new features coming in iOS 11.4, one of the biggest being AirPlay 2. And unlike in iOS 11.3, where it was removed halfway through the beta period, it is still with us in the current beta of 11.4. As a mini refresher, the biggest feature of AirPlay 2 is the ability to do multi-room audio from your iOS or tvOS device. You can see here we have things like the bedroom and living room Apple TVs. I can push audio to both of those at the same time. Messages in iCloud is also coming in 11.4 that is still here in the latest beta. So hopefully all of these new features stick around until the release. Beta 3 contains primarily bug fixes, but there are two prominent things to talk about. The first being a fix for 3D touch. Some people were experiencing this thing where they would unlock their phone and it would not work on their home screen, just simply did not work. That has been fixed, so that should no longer be an issue for anyone who's experiencing that as far back as iOS 11.3. The other notable change is having to do with the volume slider. You notice here on the previous version, I can move this up and down and the icon is not changing. The volume icon is still absolutely the same, whether or not I kind of jump into it or leave it there in the control center, it does not change. However, on the new beta, it actually syncs with your current volume once more. As you move it up, the, uh, the icon gets bigger, go down, it gets smaller. This was the case before, but it was kind of removed and now it is back in the latest beta. So it just synchronizes the icon with your current level of volume, whether you're just in control center or you 3D touch into that control specifically. So let's talk about performance really quick. Obviously, as we're getting closer to release, everything is running pretty smoothly. I haven't had really any lags or stuttering in actual real world usage, at least in the last you know hour or so of actually playing with it. If we look at battery life in beta 2, now that I've had a couple weeks to try it out, I've had no ill effects of battery life. There did seem to be a few different memory hangs in some applications, and hopefully that's been cleared up here in the latest beta. Running a Geekbench CPU test gives us some decent benchmarks. If we compare it to where they last were in the previous beta, they maybe have gone down slightly, but we're not seeing any huge performance hit. Basically, it's pretty much staying the same. Uh, where it's at now could really just be variability of you know the certain time and what's happening on my phone at this specific moment. So really, there are no ill effects as far as performance is concerned here in beta 3. Beta 3 of iOS 11.4 comes alongside the third betas of macOS 10.13.5, tvS 11.4, and watchOS 4.3.1. Obviously, our list of finds is not exhaustive, so if you found anything else at all new in this beta, be sure to shout it out down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.